Welcome back. How old were you when you started to read? Three year old Eva Nelson, along with her parents, read a thousand books before kindergarten. The Minot Public Library started launching the program in January. Kiona Rivera talks with the Nelson family, who is the first to complete the program. And the Nelson family has about 1,500 books on their shelves at home. They say reading brings them to a whole new world with every page is turned. Look out! Go. Eva's brother Ian just started kindergarten and has also read a thousand books already. Their dad Eric says they were surprised to see their kids reach the mark. I just think it's amazing. I would have never thought that um, in such a short period of time they read that mo many books. Um, it's kind of funny thinking about all the books that we didn't count and all the daycare books that were read and grandparents read books. Eva still has two more years before she starts kindergarten, but that doesn't stop her from giving her parents books to read to her every chance she gets. What's your favorite one? Miss Nelson. They say it all starts from home, and their mom is an avid reader. Her love for reading started with mystery books like the Nancy Drew series. But reading has always been my thing. My parents would always say that I only became a good traveler once I could read in the car. And then that's how I spent all my trips, was reading. Children's librarian Randy Monley says the Minot Public Library wants to instill reading as an everyday routine. They really are learning those early literacy skills before they go into school. And they're also really building a relationship with books and their caregivers. It's, it's just such a great opportunity for the little ones. Both Eric and Beth say they hope their children will keep finding their love for reading and say they also learn something new with every book read. In Minot, I'm Kiona Rivera reporting for your news leader. Very impressive. Now parents can sign up for the program through the Beanstack app where they can easily scan the barcode of the books they've read Librarians say there's no end date for the program and they plan to keep it running for as long as they can.